Yeah, it was definitely a close one. I mean, and, and you saw Stepster having that little bit of high ground in the last one as well, just showing that. I mean, they made good use of it, although the start wasn't that strong. Here, though, Chapik's trying to step in and step up. He is going to find the shield crack, the headshot, and the body follow-up. And I love this this mechanic. It's not necessarily new anymore, but it's still really cool to watch unfold in team-based game modes. Tossing back the heels to the teammates still. Now pumping the brakes, realizing like, all right, they had some great shots on you guys. We're at a disadvantage somehow. All right, I'm going to back up. So Chapix, even investing shockwaves to get away, he does not want to get pounced on. That's how it's going to work out here. Yeah, Chapix getting that nice bounce on baby girl fly. Baby girl fly, not having a great back to back, and that is the end of the ride for that baby girl trio. Hey, at least make an appearance here in the top. Not only that, the cash prize too. Take that yeah. with you. Store right. that on the side. You know, okay. it's not too bad. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Yeah, Some life changing money could be doled out. I feel that, but there's always something special of having something exclusive in the Fortnite world. I felt that little taste of that exclusivity when I got that Tango outfit, and I was, yeah, I had it. And then it went to the shop. Bye, and Bondi, that's going to be big. Bondi's one of those teams on the bubble. That mean line snipe out of nowhere, that could ruin this trio's run, monster. Yeah, not only that, he's going to get the thirst. He's going to be able to pick up the loot. You can see the team is probably based up down there on the river bend. And there's another squad on the other side of the river. So all in all, this is just a terrible situation for the squad there. And look, they actually have to force their way through the risky. So lo literally looking to force the... They put together a string together a great couple of games. And Sundown kind of called that out. But it looks like the steam or that premium gas, petrol, whatever you want to call it, that fuel Ooh. is slowing them down as the ride is close to being over. And now... Rides are over all over the place. Jamstar Quavado still looking for that top 15 placement in there. Yes, they're most likely to go through through the series, series accumulate points, but I know Jamsai and Letwick and Quavado have that pride. These are some big names in the community from the EU side of things that have been around for a very long time. And it kind of makes you feel like Hercules, man. You just feel the strength of 10 men, but in your case, one and a half men. For me, being a player of my caliber, I feel like I am the strength of 10 as Wolfies, CRR, and Kenzel showing their strength as a trio. This newly formed trio that is just blossoming in front of our eyes. They're getting it done all together. I mean, this is really nice to see. And for the people out there, the Fortnite nerds like you and me, this is interesting to watch. We're seeing a solo team that was having so many questions going into these qualifiers, figuring it out right in front of us. And they get that nice knock against Airwalk. Consistently, time and time again. I mean, and that's, that's the deadly power between CRR and Wolfies, the tracking that they have. That with Kinzel now, it's just well balanced. As Jaspe is gonna fall here, and now it's up to, who's that? Is that Traffic's team, right? What's left of them? No, actually coming out of the Stark industry, so a little bit of a late rotate. That's what we talk about, staying over there for too long. Now Jaspe is one of the ones down here. And teams like Swabs, Versu, and Jackie, who Versu squad has been taking out so many top 10 teams already in this qualifying round. You got to watch out for them because, yes, they're not doing so well in terms of the leaderboard, but they'll take you out in the blink of an eye. Jackie here finding with pure aggression, though, although at a little bit of a disadvantage uh -oh. with the shock, and it doesn't even matter. He's going to find the player there. Nice knock now, sitting on the siphon as well, and he's got good control of the builds here, too. All of a sudden, look at how things turn. The upgrade to the shotgun loadout, and now it's up to them to continue to make it out the storm line. But way to end the fight pretty quickly. I mean, Nana's still alive on the side there, but unfortunately, the, the lead that I was praising them for is now looking not too hot as all the tug splashes has to come out kind of early here. He's going to get tagged once here, but not too much is going to come out of it as now they have the opportunity here to storm pressure someone out. Crashback comes in trying to hold him or send him flying. It's going to be Alex in there from Team Enterprise. That's actually Milan Queasy, man. If they're out. Oh, it's Queasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they changed his name. So, like, if they're out, Monster, they, they may be out for the competition from getting that first place. I mean, I know they were kind of sniffing around, but that's a big time trio. The ones that are in contention sitting on top of the board is Analix, Yanis, and Xwees, Hen, Deceptos, and Puttrick. And in third place is Kenzel, Wolfies, and Dump Truck going into this battle. Blaster, Nikov, and Alpha are in the fourth. And to round out of five, we have Rust Guard, Stompy, and Scram on the cumulative leaderboard. It all comes down to this in these last moments. We literally have, after this reveal, four zones left to go in the final game 12. And Mappy is sitting in that top 15. And Fremont's trio already lost Fremont. I'm not sure if they're still in this fight, but that's another team that's on the bubble. As we're going to see who is going to get this last victory royale going into heats. And that is when things are kick up a notch. That's when things get spicy.
yeah, definitely. The players are going to be at the edge of their seats, probably staying up a little later than usual at night. Lack of sleep, thinking about what heat am I going to be in? Who is going to oh, be yeah. in that game with me? How is it going to unfold? Who's dropping with me? There's so much that goes into heat's preparation. And honestly, the sooner the better for the pros. So hopefully we'll see when that list gets divvied out there. This game has to continue to unfold, though. It's, everyone's getting, you know, slightly uh, steps and steps closer, right? But this is it. It's their final run now of day two. And this is a trio that we have been looking on in this Train Hard Trio Monster. I'm telling you, Sundown and I have been covering it. We've just been seeing them be consistent. They're one of the two trios to make it in every single round three. And they end the run of the Septos, at least. That's one of the trio in our top board right there going down. That's our second place losing. But we have been seeing Hen and Patrick clutch it up. Hen has been performing monstrously in the solo performance game but train hard as well on the other side the other train hard trio are racking up and they're doing really hot as we're taking a look mappy's still up and he actually gets a squeeze so mappy's trio is going up against the number one trio on the board and they're oh my goodness mappy goes down but train hard trio is getting e limbs in a nice and easy way monster yeah, nice and easy right here. Looking right down as they had that little bit of elevation to play off of. You can see the terrain really taking its toll here as everyone's trying to claw their way up this mountain. If you don't got a good grip on it, it's not going to look too hot. And now it's coming back down. So it's playing a little bit of mind games with the players going back and forth here. This elevation gets super steep. But more importantly, now they're going to be going through all these old builds. So how is this going to fare out? This is really going to shake things up as now Refscar's in front. And I mean, they have a lot of time to work with here. Being so, so early, everyone's going to come collapsing on top of them. With a little bit of aggression, they can hold everyone off. But ultimately, it is going to be a matter of if they stay in front, they should guarantee their way to endgame. And here we are. We're going to figure out very soon who's going to join Kezix, 4ZR, and Nate at being the qualifier winners. Back-to-back -back winners. Now round three is up for grabs as Rusgar gets a oh, grab no. out the door. He's going to bounce our way back. And you mentioned it. They were there early, and all of a sudden, the chaos is kind of washing over them. The wave is crescendoing at the right moment. But Rusgar, Scram, and Stompy are kind of stepping up to the challenge at this moment. They're saying, we're here. We got one signature victory out, and we're going to try to get another one here in day two. This was a big question for me. And Sundown and I, we wondered what's going on with Rusgar, Scram, and Stompy. But they're answering that question right here, right now, in a big-time way. As we're seeing zone, they're just on the front here and they're pepperfied and they're about to shockwave to a better position here, Monster. Yeah, and that's going to be the bouncer shockwave as well. You can see that it's going to get them far. It's going to get them in front. Refscar takes a little bit of a tick, but now he loses teammates in the process as well. So it's a bit of a split up there. Scram gets ticked for like five HP. So, or five ticks of the storm equaling 50 HP, meaning that he was sitting out there for quite some time. That's the problem going from high elevation down into low. And you can see it's happening again here. Look how many players get overshot there from the mobility usage. It is very, very tough to, uh, I guess, execute, especially off those little bits of high ground. Here, though, the wide shot giving us an idea. Clement on high ground. Nakos just underneath that. Kami up there as well. And you can see it's going back and forth. Someone's challenging up above. Clement gets dived on into the box. It's not looking good. He loses all of his shield and crash pads on out. What a way to shake up the height. Height is being contested, but we have a great mid-ground tarp from the Wave Advise. We're taking a look at the low ground, and you're seeing on your bottom right is ADN sitting on the mid-ground, doing all their work here. Matzo, Umpfly, ADN are still up, and there it is, kind of peeking down into boxes to grid boxes down below. Here we're taking a look at Cooler ZQ's trio, Black and Robots, sitting at height. What a strong performance from Cooler ZQ. Got so close to getting the opening victory out. Can they close this out with the victory out? We'll tune in with that. But the story is Train Hard's Matzo Amplify and ADN working really well together. But ADN's low on mats. But you're seeing the supportive play of his trio mates kind of help him out as they go for a layer switch, knowing that they're low on mats here, Monster. But they're still looking strong considering they're fine hip to hip and taking every moment to get any bit of material as possible and yeah, just look at the tracking right there he was hunting he's gonna find refs guard in the storm line and one little hit even from that far is enough to take him out here they don't all these floors though do have to be careful distancing themselves high ground though blackie cooler zq and robots holding it down right now raining fire right now and honestly cooler zq did win his engagement up there so high ground is all theirs and they're fully kitted in the low, though, ADN here trying to get as many points as possible. This is what matters most. Remember, there is prizing on the line here no matter what. So you want these Elans. You want that first place. 
absolutely in every type of elim just gets you closer and closer hundreds and hundreds of dollars are being accrued right here here and another elim is being accrued so it is amplify amplify adn and matzo going up against robots zq and blackie it's a 3v3 the final two teams standing tall in game 12 this is going to be a matter of can height hold on as long as possible as you already seen down to the soft mats down to wood and amplifies trio is down to it and here he is the engagement they go toe to toe blackie goes down suffers the immediate blast but now cooler is being peppered now adn amplify amplify goes down matzo adn trying to close this out with the victor royale opportunities are here just missing the blast but they already have to deal with one more that's sitting at height and they could go ahead and chop this down oh! the ultimate chop down happens saying we were at the top wherever we go in finals you need to be careful Oof. wherever we show up in heat and Robab, ZQ, and Blackie actually end up pulling through, somewhat almost teetering off. But after that last game, 150 total points over the two days, seventh place overall. The team who we looked at in our previous package just managed to get that last slot there. They were one of the people who were teetering on the edge, and they've managed to hit that qualification up 